now what we will do we will actually go into the integration part now i will not uh, go ahead and straight away configure the integration today but i'll i'll actually walk you through a ppt guys today okay i'm just trying to open that ppt okay so guys when we talk about integrations so what is integration first of all we have to understand so it's a way of communication between two different system that's first thing when we talk about integration it is a connection between two different system and it helps us in communication between two different system so how exactly it works you have your cell phone right mobile phone so when you have to talk to your friend what do you do you dial the number uh, and you wait till he or she picks up the call and then you start talking right same thing goes here also so we have a connection that is built once the connection is built you can send and receive data as much as possible there is no restriction but building that connection actually requires the help of web services which we have discussed now when when it comes to workday integrations workday integration enables you to exchange data efficiently between workday and any external endpoint right so why do we do basically this workday integration so let's say my payroll is outsourced to a third party let's say adp or any other vendor is doing our payroll right so they would need data to actually run the payroll they would need your attendance data they would need the leaves option leaves data what kind of leave was that right was it a leave without pay or an annual leave or a paternity maternity sick leave whatever it, the leaves the company is giving right because of the policy every policy they should know so that they can compute the payroll and how much is the compensation per month per year accordingly they will deduct your taxes right so all mm. those things are sent to them how will we send it because we have to send it every month if it is in india it will be every month but if it is a different country it has to be sent every week right because somewhere there is a weekly payout somewhere it is like a one fortnightly payment like once in 15 days yes right so we have to build integrations if i just keep on sending the file manually it will be a big task suppose you have 15000 20000 employees what will you do in that scenario you cannot do everything manually right so for that purpose only we do integrations so export payroll data from workday to a third party or import data from employee hires into workday using eib now it says use of workday integration so it says efficiently export and import large volume of data initiate integrations on ad hoc or on schedule which means you can send it on demand or you can schedule it as per your requirement so let's say weekly you have to send the payroll right so it will be delayed by at least one week i mean it is not possible that you join on tuesday and you will get your salary on friday no you will get it on next friday at least that much amount of time is required for a company to process your payroll right so this is what is how you know the integrations work and says complete most tasks in bulk that you can perform in workday as i stated let's say i have to i'm moving from workday to or say people soft to workday and there are 10000 locations and if i have to create those 10000 locations manually just imagine how much time will it take i mean i'm not sure if i am able to create also or, or not okay so that becomes very important then comes the next part what is business benefit of it why do we actually need integrations so example it makes your task easier and less time consuming that's the first and foremost thing it says can save your time and effort by transferring the data from one other applications into workday you know if you have to insert like i give you an example 10000 locations right so if you just use integrations it will hardly take 5 minutes to 2 to 5 minutes but if you have to manually create 10000 locations 
maybe 10 days are also not enough right so it says is necessary to send a large volume of payroll results regularly to a third party payroll service in the format they require of course we would need to send it when you need to exchange large volume of data in a specific format with external endpoint then also you can do it and then it says with workday integrations you can avoid manual re-entry of data okay that is also a very important point so these are the benefits why integrations are used now what are the different type of connections that we have so it says connections and touch points so workday integrations interact with various parts of workday depending upon the product area purpose and data source so there are two ways by which you communicate either you are sending the data out of workday to a third party or you are receiving a data from third party and you are inserting into workday so with that there are two types of integrations outbound integrations and inbound integrations as the word as the name suggests outbound integrations right so outbound integrations basically are those integrations which extracts the data from workday okay what what it will do if you want to create a report you can create a report and the data is in now in the report and you can send it to a third party by using the web services making a you know a report as a web service and you can send the data through eib or you want to receive the data so what will happen they will send a file to you and uh, you know they will ask you okay what data you need you will have to send a template for example I, there are certain templates which workday is giving we will use that and we will send it to a third party they will fill in the data and they will send it to us and once it comes to us it gets inserted into workday there is very less manual intervention everything is done automatically every process that you see here is automation but yes we need to monitor in case you are getting any error or anything goes wrong so we we need to know what is wrong why it is wrong so that i can either upload the data again or make some changes then you have different different integration technologies so as i stated right that there are six types of integrations we are going to go through three three we are not going to go into so these are the first two types we have inbound enterprise interface builder which is eib so it helps us in sending the data sorry inbound basically means we are accepting the data from a third party and we are inserting it into workday so it says a tool for building simple integrations that load the data into workday this is the most used integrations and then it says outbound eib so outbound eib is a place where we use custom reports to send the data and in the inbound eib we use web services so workday provides us some web, web services that i'll talk about it, that we can use to insert the data into workday so these two we are going to look into then comes integrations template based integrations or template based connectors so template based connectors are those integrations which is also called as cold core connector right i'm talking about this right now okay so this particular integration is basically called as template based connectors and also it is called as core connector so we use this very frequently i mean this is the most used integrations that we have why it is used because you can develop it as per your requirement requirement in the sense there is a template which is given by workday and you can use the services of those templates and send the data to a third party the only thing is the output of this inter, uh, integrations is now in xml format earlier it used to give us a csv file or you know xml both the options were there but now it only gives in xml you cannot go ahead and if you go into a lower version that will become a challenge so it is better to use xml right so in this case what happens the data is sent in xml format but if your vendor is old you know they are still not upgraded themselves to xml reader 
then it is of no use for you. It becomes very challenging. Then Workday also provides us an option to put a document transformation. So I can go ahead and write a code which will help uh, us to go ahead and convert the data into a format which they want, like a vendor. They want in CSV, text or Excel, whatever, we can make the changes with the help of coding. And that coding is basically known as XSLT. Okay, T here stands for transformation. So XSL is extendable style sheet language. Okay, and uh, T stands for transformation. So it helps us in transforming the XML into a required format. I'll show you that also when we go into the integrations. So these are the three integrations that we will be learning. And if I have to draw a pie chart, guys, I'll tell you 25% of the integrations are done through EIB inbound outbound. 65% of the integrations are done through core connector. So just imagine 25 plus 65, how much? 90%, right? So these three integrations are very, very important. And rest other three integrations, which you're going to see, it consists of 10% because it completely involves coding. Now you see this option, which says template based integration. Now this type of integrations basically are used only for those organizations where they have only very limited integration. Let's say I have an integration only with ADP for my payroll. So what will I do in that case that I will only use this option, but this is a tool that I have to buy. Okay, I cannot just get it from anywhere. This is something you have to buy. Okay, so this is something we don't have because it requires a license, so we cannot show it to you. But it works only with that application. So for example, I have a connection with ADP, it will work only with ADP. It's more like a application that you install and use it on your computer. So this is useless. None of the organizations who has multiple integrations will use this. It is only good for those organizations like, you know, as I stated that they just want to have a payroll integrations. They will can, uh, you know, buy this application and use it. But yes, it is good to know because in interview you may be asked. The next three integrations that you see Workday Studio, it is basically all coding. So here, what happens? We use an Eclipse platform. On that platform, we install the Workday Studio. Okay, so it says Eclipse-based integrated development environment. You could, you can build custom integrations that follow the same template-based model as Workday connectors. Okay, so this is completely coding. So in order to learn Workday Studio, you should have a knowledge of XML, XSLT. A little bit of Java. Why? Because you will may have to write the business logics. For that, you would need a little bit of Java. And that's the reason we don't consider this as a part of this curriculum, because if anybody wants to learn this and they have the prerequisites, then only we suggest, okay, you can go for it. And for that, for learning this tool itself, it will take three weeks for sure. In fact, more, because it is very vast. And then there are other two integrations like SOAP API integrations. So it is also called as Workday Web Service API, WWS API integrations. So for that, you have SOAP, Simple Object Access Protocol. So what it does is there are a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, web services, which is provided by Workday. And those are generally SOAP and, you know, all the operations you can do. But the thing is, it is not used in the tenant. It is built outside of the tenant. So all these integrations, even studio, SOAP or REST API, everything will be built somewhere outside the tenant. You will have to make an API call to even access the tenant to get or receive the data okay, or send the data. So this is not preferred. I mean, these are very rare scenarios where you will see it is being used. And it is for those people who do not know Workday. You know, people, those who are very smart, you know, they say that I am only good at coding. I don't know anything else. Okay. 
So in those scenarios, you will use these kind of integrations. So we have SOAP and we have REST. Okay, so REST, again, this is a, again an API provided and it has limited number of workday operations. So this is used generally for your mobile application. You know, you want to use a mobile app. For those purposes, you will use REST API. Okay, so for SOAP, you can actually build anything. Almost everything is accessible through this. Okay, so these are the type of integrations we have. So in our curriculum, we have EIB inbound, EIB outbound, and then template-based connectors, which is also called as core connector, guys, okay? This is something which you should remember. And then the last slide talks about limitations. So I'll, I'll just leave it to you. So let's say inbound EIB supports only one data source. Outbound EIB supports only one data source. Basically, you want to use a custom report or a web service, you can, but only one. But in EIB, you can only use web service. You can't use custom report. Then it says template-based integration. So this is more difficult than EIB, yeah. But each template supports a single dedicated vendor. That's the reason I said that, you know, you cannot use it with everybody. Integration templates can't support any other endpoint, even if you use cases similar. So this is rarely used, but yes, it is used. It is not that it is ignored. Then you have template-based connector. It is more difficult than EIB for sure. And you can use many data sources from where you can bring in the data and send it to anybody. Studio. Studio is separate from Workday Tenant, requires studio-specific training. Studio integrations generally take longer to build and you know uh, template-based integrations or connectors. And this is where you would be an expert on coding, then only you can learn. it. Workday web services requires non-workday development expertise and infrastructure. For example, you are doing it from Java, Python, or somewhere you can, you will use this option, you know, so API. Same for REST API also, but it is only for your, generally for your mobile. If you have developed a workday mobile application, you want to, you know, customize it, you have to use this option. But very limited operations are supported uh, on a mobile application. Okay. So these are the limitations 